my Sunshine Sparkle faces. It's me, Mother Sparkles. I was getting ready this morning, putting all these makeup products on my face like I usually do, and all of a sudden it came to me, and I thought to myself, how many products do I exactly put on my face every morning? And I think the worst part was how much does it cost? So I started to YouTube, like, does this exist on YouTube? Like, how much does my face cost? Oh my goodness, there were. Everything is on YouTube, but I was like, I need to figure this out. So I went through everything that I usually do every single day, and I came up with a giant list of products, and I totaled the price, and I'm just so, I'm in shock. Like, I, I, you don't really realize how much you spend on makeup until you actually put it to paper. Keep watching if you want to know how ridiculous I am. Alright, so nice and easy for a start. I use a very simple, simple moisturizer. It's hypoallergenic, non cause the I do not understand how you say the word. Non com we're gonna pass that. It's called Cetaphil and this was only ten dollars. So Start off with that to moisturize the face. And then we prime. I think a primer is very, very important for makeup application. It's like, it changes everything. And I've tried so, so many primers on the market. Like I've been in the beauty industry for so long and this product actually works. It's not just because it's Chanel, but it's amazing. It will change your life. And for those who've ever used this, they will tell you the same thing. It's amazing. And this is the Le Blanc de Chanel. Next, I use a MAC concealer. This is the Studio Finish in SPF 35. My color is NC 35 as well. It's a pot. It's very nice because it's full coverage and I love my full coverage. So this is perfect for under the eyes or like acne scars or anything, this really works. I have all these different products, but I apply them very like lightly and it's not just all, I'm not just layering and layering, layering. I layer them in the right places, blending them out with the right brushes and tools, making it not look cakey. So the next product, I'm gonna jump right into it, is this Chanel foundation. I've been using this for years now. Great coverage, I love it, it makes my skin even out. It is the Perfection Lumiere and I'm in the beige 30. It comes in a pump, really convenient, I love this. SPF 10. Now to set the liquid foundation and move on to powder, I like to set it with a foundation powder and it may sound like very thick, but it's not at all. This is the Chanel Vital Lumiere. It's so nice. After that, I like to use the YSL Touche Clot. This is in the number two. And I like to put this under my eyes to hide that dark circle and kind of create that nice, you know, halo effect, the brightness under the eyes. After that, I like to put this on top, okay? This is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Cameo. I'm almost out. I literally have to go and buy some today. It's like a little bit left, so I like to put that, I call it baking, like I put this under my eyes until the very last step of my makeup and then I wipe it off. It creates this nice brightness under my eyes. So I use that and then we move on to the bronzer, which is this Too Faced bronzer that I love using. It's really dark and it's matte. It is in the color Dark Chocolate Deep Tan. And these are the products, keep in mind, uh, these are the products I use every single day, so it will, you'll see it hit pan because this is what I truly use. I'm not just pulling products out of my drawer, I'm like, this is what I use. I use these products every day, so I use this bronzer next just to contour. I only contour my cheekbones and just up here a little bit and down my jaw. I do not contour my boobs, FYI, just in case you're wondering. No, this is not contour, just breast implants, okay. After the bronzer, I like to work my way up the cheekbone. So the next step I would do is I would apply blush. So this is the blush that I've been using so much, which I'm kind of scared because I don't want the powder to go off. But this is the Sun Kiss Ribbon by Chanel. Such a beautiful color. You swirl your brush in, you apply it, looks beautiful. So after the blush, I like to use a highlighter and this is a powder highlighter. Now you might be asking Julie, you already use like a, a highlighter under your eyes. Well that's just to cover like the dark circles. I like to illuminate and put the cheekbones, like make, make it look more poppy. So, or accentuate the cheekbones. So I use this Chanel highlighter, which I bought a while ago and I love it. It doesn't seem to disappear. It's really nice because you don't need a lot. So you just dab dab and then you just kind of lightly put it just above the blush. This is in the color Coupes de Minuit. 
By the way, I did not include the makeup brushes because it would be a crazy amount. The total would be a crazy amount. So this is just purely makeup. The next step is my eyebrows. My eyebrows, I've been struggling with them because they grow differently. So I don't know. My eyebrows are really weird, but I've been using, I don't use like a brow set or like a brow you know, I use eyeshadow for my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows right now, I use a powder and I use like three different colors. So I use the Tarte Lit eyeshadow palette. <laughs> um, and I only use three of the colors. Can you guys tell which ones? The ones that I use the most. So I dip into Power Player, Natural Beauty, and Best Friend, or yeah, Best Friend. Maybe I can use four, then Multitasker for like at the end here where it goes darker. After the eyebrows, we move on to eyeshadow. I use the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette. I have different palettes that I kind of rotate because when I see it like starting to hit pan, I'm like, oh god, I better stop using this and use another palette. So right now I'm using the Too Faced Semi Sweet, which looks like this. This product here, which I love. It is the inexpensive NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. It makes your white stand out much more. So I kind of put it on my eyelid and then I put the white on top of it, which makes it like pop even more. So I'm almost running out of this. Got to repurchase this pretty soon. After the eyeshadow, I like to use my eyeliner or do my eyeliner. I use the Sephora Waterproof Gel Liner. I've tried so many and this is the only product that actually works for me and it stays on because I have oilier lids. After that, I curl my lashes, apply mascara. This is my favorite mascara. It's the... The Volume de Chanel, all these names I gotta remember, but this is my favorite mascara. I use this all the time, really, really nice. And then I put my eyelashes on, which are the Benefit pinup lashes that I wear every single day. I go through these like crazy. It's too bad that they cost so much because I literally have to like stock on so much. They sell out, so. Don't you be buying all of them, girl. To put on the lashes, I use the Duo Glue in the dark tone so it blends in easier. And after that, I use a MAC Black Pencil Liner to kind of like line my liquid liner and the top liner. So I don't do this every day, just when I want to go out like for the night or something, I usually wear it. So I'm going out after and I'll, I like to put a little darkness in. So this MAC Pencil is really nice. I use three different lip products. I use a lip liner, and the lip liner I use is the MAC Soar, which is like a natural darker uh, shade of my lips, so it's really nice. I use this to outline my lips, and then I use a MAC Viva Glam Number no. 2 lipstick, which is this beautiful nude. Oh, by the way, this is based on the look I have on today, which is most days. Um, so I've been loving, loving, loving this. This is in my beauty favorites video, which I have yet to make. So I love this new color. I've been wearing it a lot. It's the MAC Viva Glam number no. two. And then I finish off with some nice gloss. This is the Chanel Gloss Summer Lip Gloss in the color 206 Beige Star. So I like to put this in the middle of my lips, just like, like that. Gives it a nice gloss, makes your lips look fuller, bigger, it's Gorgina, so I love it. And that concludes my face. <laughs> now I know most of you guys at home watching this video is probably like, whoa, this girl puts on a lot of makeup and you're probably judging me, staring at me like what on earth? I'm a makeup artist, okay? So if you walk into Sephora, if you walk into MAC Cosmetics, you will see girls that look like me, okay? I just love makeup. Who knows, I'm just hiding my insecurities. I calculated all the products that I put on my face on a daily basis and that number came to 21 products on my face, okay? That's not the worst part, okay? The worst part is the cost. Are you guys ready? <laughs> The grand total of 21 of these products in Julie Vu's face is a total of $853.44 Canadian. That's with tax. Okay, and that's not including makeup brushes. So including makeup brushes, this is absurd. I know it's crazy, but you have to think like, you know, I don't use like, a whole bottle of foundation in one day, so it's not like that much. Um, I would say like a liquid foundation or a powder foundation would last me about like three to four months. 
So it kind of like pans out, but sometimes it doesn't. Like gel liner, I go through that every two weeks. Eyelashes, I go like every four days, which is crazy. And the concealer, I don't know, you know? So it kind of like blends out, but certainly I do not wear at least like $1,000 a day. That's, that's not accurate, but it's pretty close, so. Don't judge me. That is all for today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and maybe you should sit down and calculate how much you wear on your face too. So stop hating girlfriend. Bye.